Hi, Alison Marsden here from Gardening by Design with a quick video tip, this one on summer bedding pelargoniums. These pelargoniums are what probably one of the most popular summer bedding plants. So we're going to have a quick look at what they are, how they flower and how to look after them. Like many people, I have pelargoniums in shades of white, pink and red in my garden in the summer to give a little bit to accentuate the sort of Mediterranean style of this pergola that has, also has my grapevine growing over the top. So pelargoniums are, they're quite, let's come down here, they're quite shrubby plants, native I think to South Africa, and they have quite, these quite, if you can see there, these quite thick stems. They're soft and fleshy, but they do grow bigger and bigger, so if you don't cut them back and you manage to keep them through the winter because they're not hardy in the UK, in a greenhouse or under glass. They will get sort of bigger and woodier, almost structured like a little shrub rather than um, a soft herbaceous plant. Uh, what pelargoniums are not are geraniums. The word was used, the name was used for them fairly interchangeably until a few years ago. And the leaf, if I hold this one, the leaf is a similar shape. It's lobed, mid-green and a little bit, a little bit rough. But the, and that is the only similarity, they're not related. And you can see that the flowers, the flowers are held individually, whereas pelargoniums have these big clusters of flowers, um, each of which might bear a superficial relationship. But really it was the leaves. This is a herbaceous perennial, fully hardy, great garden plant, but certainly different from the pelargonium. And pelargoniums like this don't need a huge amount of care. Once they're potted up with some fresh compost, cut back over the winter, and then they will keep them under cover. They'll come through the winter, or you can buy small plants in the spring and grow them on. So they do produce succession of flowers. You can see that these two flower clusters pretty much over, plenty more coming. But like all plants, they I want a dead head, firstly because they look so dreadful, but also to keep the plant flowering. Pelargoniums is pretty easy because the thick stem, if we go down to the base, you can see where it's joined up. There's a thick stem and you just have to hold it in your thumb. Gentle snap. I didn't do that with my nails, just a gentle snap off right at the base. So hold it at the base and you can just, oops, can't get the hold of this one. You can, you, did you hear that snap? You can just snap them off, which doesn't damage the plant, it doesn't take the bud out that's following, just snaps the head off, and then that plant will keep flowering as long as you keep watering throughout the summer. There's more information on my Gardening by Design website about how gardening supports well-being and how I can help you.